A few decades back, Croatia was primarily linked in people's minds to the Balkan Wars, which ravaged the area until 1995. However, the nation has admirably transformed into a sought-after tourist destination over the past few years. The popularity of Game of Thrones is partly to thank for this, but what other features or activities are there to indulge in while in Croatia? At number 10, we have the sea organ, which is an architectural masterpiece. It is an experimental musical instrument, but hold on, it is not your regular musical instrument. It plays music with the help of sea waves and tubes located underneath a set of large marble steps. You've never seen something like that, right? It was designed by Croatian artist Nikola Basic and is one of the most magical installations in all of Europe. It is best enjoyed at sunset. Nothing beats watching the receding sun while sitting with a friend or partner and allowing the disjointed notes to wash away all your cares and stress. Our number nine spot is the Dubrovnik's cable car experience occupies. It is the best thing to do if you have an hour or two to spare and trust me, it is worth it. Guests can also spend some time at the cafe located on top, treating themselves to some cold beer or iced coffee while enjoying the views from the top. And oh, the views constitute the main highlight of the entire exercise. You get to see the picturesque old town and views of the coast too. And do not forget to bring your A-game when it is time for pictures. At number eight, we have Splits Green Market, which is a charming local market. There are rows of vendors who sell everything from local food produce to souvenirs. With the sheer number of fruits, vegetables, butchers, and fishmongers, you're sure to find something to suit your taste. The chance to experience the authentic local culture of Split is an additional plus, too. If you ever get tired while browsing through the stalls, you can take a break at one of the nearby mini supermarts or cafes to recharge. At number seven is Margin Park. It is a paradise of some sort for outdoor enthusiasts and anyone looking for some peaceful, quiet time. Whether you want to bike, swim, hike, or just take a stroll, the park is the perfect place to enjoy nature. This lush, green park has many amenities such as beaches, trails for walking and jogging, tennis courts, and even a few small churches. You can also get those Instagram-worthy pictures as the park offers you panoramic views of the city of Split, the harbor, and the surrounding islands. And guess what? Entrance is completely free. The number six activity on our list is exploring the Zagreb 80s Museum. Zagreb 80s is a museum exhibition that will give you a feel of the sights and sounds of the 1980 OS. Visitors get to immerse themselves in the experience by touching and feeling the exhibits which the museum is stacked up with. That's not all. The museum also hosts a special party once a month on a weekend day, taking visitors on a musical journey through the iconic music of the 80 AOS. This museum is just perfect if you want to relive the nostalgia of the 80s in a fun way. You will find out for yourself how worthy of this list it is. Number five on our list is some beekeeping experience at Tivordic Honey. The person in charge here, Goran, is a beekeeping expert. He has decades of knowledge and experience in beekeeping, and a visit to Tivordic Honey is sure to build you up with some new knowledge. He is extremely patient, too, and is very enthusiastic when it comes to explaining all aspects of beekeeping. If you add all this to his great sense of humor, the different informative displays, free advice from him, and loads of stuff that you can purchase, you will try all you can to pay a visit to Tverdik Honey while you are in Croatia. Number four on the list of things to do in Croatia is to visit the parish of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary Cathedral. The mosaic-decorated Basilica of San Vitale in Ravenna has been described as a Byzantine masterpiece, and that is a perfect description. The magnificent basilica complex in Porek, Croatia, is one of the best-preserved early Christian architecture. It has shimmering gold mosaics and the bell tower, which you can ascend for panoramic views of the city. You can also visit the bishop's palace, which is a feast for the eyes, wander through the atrium, visit the museum to learn more about the history of the basilica, and just let the atmosphere of the cathedral wash over you. You absolutely need to add it to your itinerary. Our number three activity is a trip to Plitvice Lakes National Park. The sheer variety of cascades at the Plitvice Lakes National Park is astonishing and at the same time, therapeutic. The cascades range from towering waterfalls to finger-like streams. The park is, in fact, comparable to the Grand Canyon and Yosemite. 
With an area of 295 square kilometers, it boasts of being Croatia's largest and oldest national park, established in 1949 and recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage. There are 16 lakes and an impressive 92 waterfalls in total, and the park is impressively well organized, has enough parking space and helpful, skilled staff. Occupying the number two spot is a tour of Old Town. Have you ever wanted to know what the medieval times were like? Well, Old Town is the place to go to. From the moment you walk through the gates, you'll feel like you've been transported to another world. Nicknamed Pearl of the Adriatic, the walled city has so many interesting activities to do, such as visiting the Franciscan Monastery with its library and pharmacy, or the Cultural History Museum Rector's Palace, the Pile Gate, the 15th century bell tower, Game of Thrones filming locations as King's Landing, and homes built after the 1667 earthquake, and many more churches and monasteries. I intentionally left out the main, most interesting thing to do in Old Town. What could that be? At the number one spot, we have the city walls of Dubrovnik or Old Town. This is one of the most popular features of Croatia, and almost the entire world knows just how iconic it is. I know what you are thinking. Why is it so famous? It has the most intact city walls, and it runs round the city of Dubrovnik with many forts and bastions built onto its ramparts. The wall is your surest bet for an unforgettable introduction to the city of Dubrovnik. You'll want to set aside at least an hour and a half to explore the walls in full, as they offer you unmatched views of the city and the sea beyond. Make sure to bring plenty of water and sunscreen, as there's little shade on the walls and the Croatian sun can be very harsh. I'd like you to take a second or two of your time and let me know which of these activities you would like to embark on someday. I'll be waiting for you in the comments.